What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of V42 Your Eternity. This is episode three. With me, as always, I have Blue Spade. So, well, I, to be, I gotta be honest, this episode just went, went by a lot quickly than I thought it would be. Um, I mean, not, yeah. not a lot really happened. It was just mostly a continuation of what happened uh, after the last episode with March uh, uh, traveling along with uh, this, well, this entity. Now she she's calling it or gave, gave it a name like foo or something like that yeah i think so yeah i mean well it, of course like you know they, it doesn't last um last that long as like i think who, who was it was it that um hyasa or something like i think that was the name of the uh of the woman yeah uh, who was trying to you know who's basically trying to sacrifice mm -hmm. her yeah so she retrieves march and then of course uh they they leave behind well foo foo behind and of course, uh, at the same time, we see, um, I think it was Mar March's older sister, Par Parona, yeah. that's her name. So she, so she manages to, well, she's trying to, to unbind herself from the tree. Uh, but what happens next is like the giant bear that ended up killing Fu um, back in the last episode, um, all of a sudden just comes out and kills one of the guards and then of course one of the other guards it's you know manages to escape and just barely Perona uh, manages to get out of her bindings and pretty much fall into the same lake that March fell into with uh with Fu back in the last episode yeah and, the, and this bear also ends up killing one of the guards too and I think we also learned that the bear this bear is the uh what was the deity's name again it was they like called um, it o Oniguma uh, Oniguma yeah apparently they call they they're, they're calling they're saying this one this is uh, Oniguma, yeah uh, giant yeah bear. because and, and of course one of the guards manages to get back to uh well get back to March's group and of course informs him of this gi giant bear which um which, which you know of course he tells him it's not any ordinary bear this is like the most well, first off, it's gigantic for its size, and it has like these spears like all over its body. So they pretty much um, mm -hmm. they all decide to get March uh, into the uh, what, what was it? This this fort uh, where they have this you know this sacrificial altar or something like that. Yeah, I mean, first they have her eat this this thing that supposedly I guess just puts her to sleep. Yeah, way. and of course uh, they managed to get there. And of course, they end up binding her to the altar. Um, but then, what happens next is the bear comes back, and uh, supposedly it's gonna end up um, devouring March. But then uh, soon after, well, well yeah. Uh, but before this happens too, as we should mention that the uh, the sister meets up with the uh, Fu, and uh, she tries to talk to him, but of course he doesn't know how to respond. So he's just walking around, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, so like she that basically was like their only interaction with you know her only interaction with him so um and i think also uh hyase also sees fu and asks um you know asks march about about him but uh, of course march doesn't know um much about who mm -hmm. he is um but of course yeah as you were saying the bear tries to tries to de tries to devour devour march before her sister comes in to uh to save her and like it, it looked like at least at first it looked like she took the hit from the bear when he uh, brings his paws or you know brings his uh claws down um i at first like i thought she got hit by it i, I guess she didn't because she she wasn't injured in the next but, scene but so you know I, if you, you know, noticed there was that yeah. that same pair uh, ended up falling right next to her so unless uh who mm -hmm. ended up throwing it at her knocking her down to avoid the hit so oh. i mean if, if, she, if she were be, to yeah. get hit by the bear she would have been instantly dead yeah she would die yeah <laughs> yeah but then soon afterwards um uh fu, fu ends up uh coming into the fort and manages to fend off the bear at first like it it you know fu gets his entire head bitten off and then soon afterwards mm -hmm. um uh, uh it ends up transforming back into the wolf uh, fu comes back uh, he initially, you know, uh, uh, Fu gets his head bitten off by the bear, but then he regenerates much quickly than he did before. So he transforms back into the wolf into the first episode, and he, you know, he manages he manages to, you know, fight off the bear over and over again by just like literally just biting the bear like all over the place. 
and somehow it, yeah it tries to like bite off its snout yeah it, it's I, I don't know how how it was able to take it down for its size for one thing but no matter how many times it just continually regenerated and continued to just like bite you know even deeper into its nose yeah uh, and, until so it, i mean yeah until it successfully just completely rips its snout off and pretty much takes it down permanently and i guess the only criticism i have so far of this series is that like in fights like this for instance like you don't really feel much tension because if if Fu is involved in a fight like you know he's he's just gonna keep coming back mm -hmm. uh he can't die so <laughs> it's it's like I, I don't know like um that that's that's the only thing you know that i guess you could say is somewhat negative i had to say so far as like there's not you know you don't really have to worry much about him it's more that the people i guess he's protecting you have to worry about um as opposed to him yeah it's it just puts more focus on all the side characters like everybody yeah else. like yeah. like like the the boy from the first episode Mar march and perona in these two episodes and of course um we will be seeing them again uh in the next episode as well yeah. but yeah as soon, as soon as the bear goes down um uh how, what was it height did you say what's her name again highest highest yeah i think it was highest yeah. yeah so she she orders uh, Mar March and Perona to be freed and ask them to come along with them to like a separate uh, village in, in the countryside. Uh, of course, uh, they have to report that uh, March ended up dying in the process. So it pr pretty much has, have, has to fabricate the story to, uh, I, I guess, to maintain the whole ritual thing. And, uh, and, then, yeah. and of course, they also decide to take Fu along with them. Then uh, Mar March ends up uh, feeding him the same pear that it always e eats in the last episode. <laughs> well, initially, March do doesn't even know that you know the wolf is Fu, and then of course uh, we found out after uh, Fu eats the pear, he ends up speaking thank you uh, while he's in wolf form. Yeah, so he he said something for at least. <laughs> um, it it's just a little bit creepy. He said it in wolf <laughs> while he's still the wolf. Yeah. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, this was the, like you said, this the episode did go by pretty quickly. Um, yeah, I guess I, I would also agree that not too much really happened in this episode, but um, you know, it's it, it felt like I guess I would argue it, it felt like a little bit more happened though, because you know, we actually got to see the the deity and uh, you know, Fu fought it off, and um, yeah, so it, it and, and also the next episode preview, it looks like. Of course, uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the uh, the village that Hayase mentioned, and it seems like she's going to be doing uh, some kind of experiment on Fu because he she discovers, of course, that he's immortal. Um, so I guess she's going to try to figure out, you know, I, I guess just experiment on him. Uh, and I, I should mention too, like I, I feel like Hayase is definitely not a good person because she pretty much just left both March and her sister to get eaten by the bear um and uh I, I just don't get a good feeling about her uh I, I don't think she's really has the best interests of these other other characters in mind it seems um but then again we don't really know I mean, too much she, about she, her yet i mean it, it's hard to tell what her motivations are i mean she she wanted yeah. like she she has her beliefs of like you know of, of wanting to sacrifice march uh you know to, to whatever deity that they're you know supposedly praying to but i mean it, it's well but yeah it's, it's hard to know what her intentions are uh after what mm -hmm. she's witnessed uh, with with foo's like um you know regenerative capabilities and supposed immortality yeah because that definitely seemed to have piqued your interest in this episode so i guess it makes sense that in the next episode she's going to try to uh she basically it seems like she's going to try to figure out like what like you know or just experiment on him and try to figure out why you know probably kill him multiple times or something like yeah. that just because you know she knows he's immortal I, I mean it's i don't know how how it's gonna affect Fu at all because like for one he still mm -hmm. has the mentality of a child or a dog for one thing and he doesn't have he, he i don't i don't think he can really intelligently communicate with hayase if she were to ask him yeah I, I mean, I have to wonder if this is maybe going to teach him anger or resentment for what she might do to him. Um, so, it, it's, uh, I don't know. But then again, like, yeah, he hasn't really... Uh, I don't know if you could argue he's really experienced much other emotions 
so far. Yeah, I mean, um, maybe appreciation for what March has has done, I guess. But um, probably other than that, yeah, I don't, probably. Yeah. But every time he, we, we don't really see him experience like any like reaction to physical pain, at least. But yeah. But yeah, I mean, I I would imagine he could feel emotional pain if anything were to happen to March and Verona. But the, yeah, that could be it, it. It might not be so much like what might happen to him. Maybe just more so what happens to people he might grow to care about. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe. Um, but yeah, uh, I, there's not too much else to say about this episode. Like it was, it was a decent episode, like the other ones have been. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's like. Uh, I, I can kind of see at least now where the it seems like the plot is going um, at least in terms of whatever you know what ISA is up to yeah um, because it seems like maybe they're making her out to be sort of some somewhat of a villain character for this particular arc um, you know uh, since we kind of get an idea of what she might be trying to do with uh, uh, with uh, Fu, Fu. Um, so yeah I, but yeah I, I, other than that I don't really have too much else to say yeah. I, I don't know if you have anything else to, yeah to say it, it was more this episode is more or less a continuation of uh, of you know the last episode altogether it's uh i mean at least hopefully we'll you know we'll get some form of plot development starting uh by next week's episode and in terms of what highest yeah. uh, intentions with fu are not now that they know that he's practically immortal yeah, and I'm also interested in, you know, the character development of Fu. Like, uh, maybe he'll develop some more in the next episode. Like, you know, but I, I feel like it's going to be... It seems like so far it's going to be some fairly slow development with him. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, he just learned how to speak. So, I guess, you know, eventually the next step would be maybe he learns emotions or something. Um, but, yeah, it's... And also just cons taking into consideration, I think this is going to be like a 20-episode series. Uh, so, it'll probably take a while for him to actually develop past where he is now I guess um, maybe in this arc he will but um, I guess it depends on whatever happens to uh, March and everybody else yeah I mean overall uh, it was a decent episode um, I mean I, I, I still liked it I'm hope, hoping we could uh, see a little bit more more of this uh, for the next several weeks I mean for one thing it's like the yeah. so far the pacing has been really slow in my opinion uh, since yeah. the show started yeah I, I mean like it is pretty slow paced, um, which which is not a bad. It's not a bad thing, but um, yeah, I mean it's not bad. It's just yeah, like you said, it's it's fairly slow paced, um, which I don't really mind. It's just it just depends on where the story's going, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like if it's going anywhere interesting, um, and so far it does have my interest. So, um, you know, I curious to see what they're going to do next. Um, but yeah, um, I don't really have much else to say, and. Uh, I guess uh, that all being said, I guess until uh, next Monday, we will see you all next time.